Next verse. Now, this year, I can spend the whole day dealing with this. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. The revelation here is a very complex revelation. The revelation is not God yet. The revelation is first you. That every man is a debtor. Listen. <laughs> Forgive me my debt by bringing me into the awareness that the same reason why you need to forgive me is the same reason why I need to forgive others. My inability to help myself. Are we together now? This here is a revelation that number one, all men are humans. We're empowered, we're humans, we're empowered by the spirit, but that men are frail and they grow weary. Listen, the understanding that we are debtors alone will make you to never be surprised at the disappointments, the betrayal. You know, sometimes we act as though you did this. No, the understanding that all men are weak, all men are frail, will take away the heartbreak that comes from the disappointment. Jesus is teaching you here. He is saying maintain a posture where you are not surprised at the behavior of people. That you can raise a child today and he can look at you tomorrow and act like you never invested in his life. He's saving you heart attack. He's saving you stress. He's keeping you healthy by giving you this revelation. Forgive our debt as we forgive. That means that captured in our understanding of prayer we must know that we are dealing with a realm and a system where men are frail just like we ourselves so when we approach god and say lord you can see this again the bible says he knows we are dust the spirit of god was put in us but in our frame we are dust the best of every man is still a man we are only men helped by god that means in dealing with God, perfection is not required. It is sincerity and brokenness. Perfection is exhausting and unnecessary. No man with, in the long run sustains the ability to be flawless enough to meet the standard of God. Your humanity will be revealed in greed, in lust, in pride, in pain. Are we together? You come from a family where you were struggling growing up. Now you become a millionaire or a billionaire. That tendency to prove a point to someone who trivializes you one day will crop up. So he's teaching us here. This is not about forgiveness. This is about an understanding that we are frail. Are we together? Let me tell you this. The happiest and the most peaceful people on earth are those who know that all men are men. So while they tell you, Jesus, come and become king because you turn five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 people, Jesus is also aware that one day they will say, crucify him. So the day they said it, he stood there. And he didn't look at them and say, Father, let fire come from heaven and consume them. Because he was aware that they were all men. The same Peter who looked at him and said, no, 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 no. I love you so much. You are, I will not even allow you to wash my feet. Was the same person who argued before a young lady, calling her woman to betray and deny Jesus. Now is the same Peter, three days later, who looks at Jesus and comes to him and says, ah, I'm a sinner. And Jesus said, that's not the issue, Peter. Let's go and eat. Simon Bajona, lovest thou me more than this? He didn't even discuss the issue. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, awesome God. Mortal man, I'm just a, but you are the awesome God mortal man listen it's not a revelation to negate the fact that you've been exalted with christ it's a description of the tendency that comes by reason of wearing this body that this body has tendencies that you better be aware of before it surprises you and so in dealing with people don't be surprised if they try to cheat you 
in dealing with people don't be surprised when a christian brother tries to defraud you it is a reality it's a tendency that outside of the assistance of the spirit will happen over time forgive us our debts so when you see great people keep quiet even when they have the power to respond it's not weakness it's an understanding there is superior knowledge are we together now yes listen let me tell that's why i said we can dwell here all day because it's a very powerful thing you must maintain an allowance for the humanity of men this is the revelation jesus is giving us that to be effective in prayer you must approach God even whilst you trust that he continues to grant you access to his mercy. You must likewise. The Bible in Matthew chapter 18. Oh dear, I have just about 10 minutes and we have to wrap up. Matthew 18, but let's look at it very quickly. Matthew chapter 18 from verse 21 is a long reading. We're not going to all the reading. I'll just speak out a few things. Now, Peter came and was speaking to him about the subject of forgiveness. Are we together? He says, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till 70 times? You see that Peter was disturbed. I'm sure someone had offended Peter and he wanted a justification. He was about to take an action and he said, Lord, we need to discuss this issue of forgiveness. And then Jesus, when you read down to 35, um, Jesus now describes to him 70 times 70 and then he now brings a parable to illustrate. Are we together? He talks about a man who was owing a king and then the king granted him pardon and he went to someone who was owing a far less amount and continued to oppress him and eventually the story got to the king and he called him and made him to pay more is the attitude of people listen let me tell you this you must sustain compassion in dealing with people men are human men are frail men are limited that is true for men of god that is true for business people that is true for your boss in the office that is true for your director. That is true for the head of your department. That is true for the head of your unit. And that is true for you. Truthfully, it is true for you. It's amazing the audacity we have. Did you know that so many people on earth do not even have the spiritual and the moral credence? We live in a generation where everybody is correcting everybody. Everybody is correcting every man of God. Everybody is correcting every businessman. It's as though that's all that happens. Everybody wants to show who is wrong. Ace, we are all men. It's a revelation that we must find a way of convincing ourselves before we make a mess of ourselves before the world. Our humanity is not an embarrassment. It's an advantage. It brings glory to God. So when we you see an ordinary man producing results that only God can produce, then Galatians 1.24 becomes a reality and they glorified God in me. Are you understanding the prayer of Jesus now? Forgive us our debts. Forgive us our debts. Every time you do not give allowance for the humanity of men, you are sowing seeds whose harvest will catch up with you because in time every one of us will have an opportunity to watch our humanity find expression and that includes jesus watch this jesus is god the logos of god now he's come in the flesh and jesus is hungry and he stands before a fig tree remember patience is the fruit of the spirit and remember jesus is full of the spirit and he stands before a tree, terribly hungry as a man. And there's no fig. What did he do? Ah, Jesus, where did you keep your patience? Dear Jesus, where did you keep? I mean, king of kings, the fruit of the spirit. Couldn't you at least give the tree a chance? No man eat of you again. Number two, he enters a temple and he sees people doing business. Where did he keep his compassion? Why didn't he politely report as a very good citizen of Rome? He took a whip and flogged every one of them. And after flogging them, he said, oh, sorry, it's just my temper. I said, no, 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 no. I'm still not apologetic. My house 
shall be called a house. I mean, you love Jesus only because he's in heaven now. If you were on earth and you were... <laughs> Carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, us. I'm just a mortal, but you are the awesome God. Listen, by this, by this revelation alone, some of you need to go back and say, Daddy, I'm sorry. I know that you did your best. You were not educated and yet you did your best to allow that at least I went to school. I know you were a drunkard. I've been running my mouth saying all kinds of things. I'm glad I came to church this morning. I understand you are human. Because you are about to have your child too. Your wife is already pregnant with twins. You don't know what it means to manage two children at a go. So before you close the door of compassion towards yourself, quickly express it towards others. See, let me tell you, when you become critical, the day your humanity shows up, the world will crucify you. When you sow seeds of compassion, you are not helping the people. You are helping yourself. Because a day will certainly come when you will need help. When Jesus stood by the woman at the well and was talking, he was also prophetically preparing for his days. At least there was a witness that stood with him at the cross. Everybody did not leave him. Be careful when you talk as though your humanity is already out of you. Listen, the treasure is in earthen vessels. Elijah may be temperous, but he's still a prophet. Moses may be a stammer and full of temper, but he's still a prophet. Abraham may have a problem with women, but he's still a friend of God. Hmm. You don't like what I'm sharing this morning? Listen, this is no justification for carelessness. It is the truth. We are all men. You love me today, Apostle Joshua Selman, and I love you too. You've not seen me when I'm hungry. You've not seen me when I'm tired. Are we together now? Yes. Have you seen God when he's angry? Arise, O oh God, and let your enemies <laughs> be scattered. Now, that's a part of God you don't want to see. He's not just a God of love, a wonderful God. He's also a God of vengeance. It's just that he has chosen that you will not see certain dimensions of him. He's redirected it to some other people. But he's still part of him. Who do you think built the lake of fire? The lake of fire was not an invention of Satan. It's part of the kingdom of God. Built by God's intelligence. Are we together? Forgive us our sin. As we forgive those who sin against us. So you take away the stress. I know. You betrayed me, but I forgive. And God says, you are acting like me. You're acting like me. It's a revelation. So let's recap and then we pray. Number one, our father. Now 